Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a gothic brass lead that really started off as a puck, but it kind of sounded more like a lead. Also a little bit spooky sounding for October. <laughs> And those are just the high frequencies, so we have a lot of rich texture on the bottom end as well. So it could sound a little creepy, you could use that as a pluck, but it kind of seems like it works a little bit more with a lead sound. So diving into this uh, this patch here, on the main tab we have no unison, so we kind of don't really want to worry about that. I have a little bit of EQ, which we can talk about later. It's mainly just cutting out some of the low end and boosting a little bit of the highs. Nothing too drastic there. The pitch here is going to be down one octave, so 12 semitones. The interesting part about this patch, like I said, is started off as a pluck, which you'll notice on each operator, the pluck knob is engaged for all of these. The first one's a sine wave. The second one is this strange shape here, which this is kind of what it looks like in the harmonic editor. So if you don't want to recreate this for every single bar, you can always download, download this patch for free in the video description below if you like it. And then operator number three is also going to be a uh, sine wave, as you can see by this first bar here. So the first one is going to be down one octave, the second one up two octaves from the one before. So a ratio of two, then plus another two, which is going to be four. And then operator number three is going to be two. So the ratio is one, four, two in that sense. So going over for this first operator here, it's all basically getting sent to the filter here, but it's slightly different levels and going for the master output. So operator one is going to filter number one, operator two, filter number two, and operator number three are going to filter number one, and they're all going to effects and to the output. So going to the the filter here, which is kind of, let's see what we have on pitch here. We have a pitch envelope, interesting. So this is going to be a pitch envelope of seven semitones here. And we, can, and we know this again because this pitch envelope is 1,200 cents, which is 12 semitones, which is one octave. And when we have the snap on, we can move up these lines by seven, giving us that nice fifth to give a nice overall sound. It's always a perfect fifth because it sounds perfect. Anyway, there's actually more deeper reasons than that, but you know what I'm saying. Filter number one. So this volume is basically where the volume envelope is going to take place because it's nice to have one volume envelope for all these three oscillators if we're sending them to the uh, to the same filter. A little bit less work. It's going to be kind of a quick pluck here. It's nothing too insane about this shape right here. For the cutoff, it's going to basically be opening up every single time we hit a note. <laughs> So a drastic change to this here would be something like this. If I drop this down. Or even up. We kind of get that metallic sound. And maybe you could use that for something else. If you like that sound, you just have to really change this note here. But going down here. Kind of just starts a little bit dark. And then the, the high frequencies kind of come up pretty quick. Kind of giving it more of that plucky type of sound or even lead. So this filter is going to be LP number three. And if you right click, that's going to be the mango low pass, a very cool filter. And it's going to be on this alt two setting. And what's actually kind of nice is we have this drive all the way at the top. And we also have some wave shaping going on with this main shape here. And it's going to be on and it's, it's going to be about halfway 50%. So kind of default. So you can kind of just click this on. And it generally should sound pretty good for this patch if you're recreating this. So that's pretty much it for the filters. It's not too complicated of a patch. It's just kind of mixing these different oscillators. So if we mute three and two, that's just one, here's two. That was up, what we see here, up two octaves and also an additional seven semitones to add that fifth in there. And then for the third one, very similar to the uh, first one. So that's pretty much this in a nutshell, all of them together. Play something kind of weird in a minor key. And that's pretty much it. It's kind of spooky. If you like the video, you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up or drop a comment. And if you want to get the patch without making and putting effort into it, which I highly suggest you do, but I know time's, a, time's an issue nowadays. So it's always free in the video description below, and we'll see you in the next video.